And what about that sun yesterday? Oh you said stars. it was coming and it was nice. It was glorious. You could walk out to the mailbox and you didn't, you know, mm -hmm. feel like you had to run because you yeah. were so cold. <laughs> we actually had that nice break today. Even warmer, Amy. So I hope you plan to get outside, soak up that vitamin D because we've got some cold air that's going to move in by the weekend. Yes, I know that means the second weekend in a row that we have had some really cold conditions. Right now we're coming in 32 degrees overlooking Music City with our wind out of the south sustained at 11 miles per hour. We will be dealing with some gusty situations as we go throughout the afternoon hours. So just be advised if it is trash day at your house, you may have to go get the trash can down the road because these winds will be ushering in quite quickly. 34 degrees for our friends over at Murfreesboro. You tell it's a little hazy for you and we do have some fog issues down along the Alabama state line where it's the most dense going into Lincoln and Franklin counties. You're coming in one to two miles. Seeing that fluctuating fog moving its way in closer into Lawrenceburg right at three miles and then here in the city at nine. We are mostly clear few clouds, but on the thinner side of things and you will notice those passing clouds as we head throughout the day. Those clouds as well as that southerly flow really helping temperatures not to be in the teens and low 20s. We are cold, but we're not as cold as yesterday. You've got 27 over in Crossville, 33 in Bowling Green, Auburn. You're coming in at 36 with 33 in Dixon, Columbia at 28 does feel a little colder especially here in the city feels as if you're stepping outside to numbers around 23 degrees. But again, that's better than what felt like 14 yesterday morning. Winds will stay with us throughout today, overnight and into tomorrow. I look for winds to be sustained 15 to 20 miles per hour, gusting near 30 at times. So we will have a skirt alert over the next 48 hours. Some plastic clouds will ease in as we go throughout today, but mostly sunny conditions. Then we head around dinner time. That's when you're going to notice the clouds getting a little gray out there. We could see a shower or two. This particular model run is getting a little too excited about the rain. I don't look for it to be widespread, but it'll be some spotty showers as we head throughout dinner time. On the flip side of this, as we transition into early tomorrow morning, we could indeed be dealing with a little wintry mix across the plateau, but we'll see another chance for potential winter weather, and that's going to be taking place Friday going into Friday evening and transitioning into our Saturday. It's going to start out as a really cold rain. Again, not widespread, very scattered. And then on the flip side of that, that's when we'll see some spotty snow showers beginning to ease in. As far as accumulations, really looking to see it just basically a nice dusting at best. Here's a look over the next seven days. 55 degrees today. Tomorrow will be at 46. Notice the percentages. They're low and they're low for a reason because this is not going to be a huge widespread event. Saturday, we're just struggling to even get to that 39 degree mark. It is going to be cold and gray with some passing snow showers. Sunday 43. We head into Monday. The sun is finally back at 46 and then we're tiptoeing around Tuesday, Wednesday, where we're going to see another chance of rain and Amy and Ben. This is looking to be a soaking situation guys.